Hi, I'm Rikis from the Capricorn Foundation. I hope you've heard by now that the Capricorn Foundation has launched the Food Waste Challenge. We are looking for innovative ideas on how to reduce food waste in Namibia in order to relieve hunger. And we are offering a $100,000 prize for the, for the winning idea. It's actually very easy to submit your idea and in this video I'm going to explain to you how to do that. So the Food Waste Challenge is run on a website and uh, you first have to go to this website and register. The website address is https colon forward slash forward slash capricorn food waste challenge dot skilled dot com. You first have to go to the sign up button which is which will take you to the re registration form. For the registration form you just require uh, an email address, your name and a password. The reason for this is we have to have an email where we can send further communication regarding that challenge to you on, on the, the email address you, you use for registration. Then you click submit and you will receive uh, an email to confirm your registration for the food waste challenge. Just make sure that this email, this confirmation email does not end up in your spam folder. The email will come from um, food waste challenge at capricorn.com.na. So just make sure to include that um, in, your, in your safe email addresses to not land in your spam folder. Once you're registered, you can go back to the website and now you can sign in. So you will see there's a sign in button. You click on the sign in, in button, fill in the credentials you use to register and then it will take you to the application page where you can now submit your idea. Okay, the first thing you have to do on the application page is you have to pick a category in which your idea falls. So we've split it into four categories. The first one is collecting, meaning collecting of food that would have other, otherwise been wasted. The second one is storing of food, so storing the food that's been collected before you distribute it further. And then distribution of food, meaning taking food to, to beneficiaries um, who, can, who can consume the food. And then the fourth category is called other. And the other category is if your idea spans over more than one category or does not fall in any of the categories, um, like maybe promoting awareness uh, of food waste or something like that. So please choose the other category if your, if your idea does not fall in one of the selected ones of collecting, distributing and storing. You will also note on, on the application page there's quick links on the left where there's frequently asked questions. There's an entry submission that gives you very detailed instructions on, on exactly uh, the kind of answers we're expecting. And then also it gives you the explanation of the different categories. So please make use of the quick links um, on, the, on the left side of the, of, of the application page. Once you've, chosen, once you've chosen your category, you click um, go to uh, application page and then on the application page there's lots of fields that you have to fill in in order to submit your idea. You will notice that some of these fields have a risk, red asterisk which means it's a compulsory field and you have to put in information there. There's lots of information that you can include like your team name, your name, your business name, short bio for, 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 for your team, you can include a picture of you or your team. And then there's specific questions that you have to answer in order to, to submit your idea, like what problem are you solving, um, what, what, what are the mechanics of your idea, what resources are required, what are the benefits of your idea. Also note that you don't have to fill in your idea um, in one go. You can save your idea and come back to it and finish it later. Most users, most participants usually does that. There's a lot of questions and a lot of information we require in order to judge the ideas um, thoroughly. So you don't have to do everything at once. You can save it and you can, can, can come back, log in again and then com complete your submission at a later time. Just remember to click the submit button once you are done and you will also receive an email from the system to confirm that your submission has been registered in the system. That's, that's how easy it is to submit your idea. Thank you.